Have you ever wondered who first stepped on the North Pole? Well, I'll tell you. Matthew A. Henson, an African-American Arctic explorer, was born in Charles County, Maryland on August 8, 1866. When he was two, his, his mother died. And then when he was 11, his father died. At the age of 13, he was, in a he was working in a cabin in a ship, and the captain got interest into teaching him how to read, write, and becoming a good sailor as well. He traveled many places and learned a little of many languages and got along with people and their different customs. When he was 21 at a shop, he met Robert E. Perry for, with his first discussion. This is how it went. Hello, my name is Robert E. Perry and I'm I'm an admiral in the U.S. Navy Corps. I'm going on my expedition to the North Pole. So Henson said, Okay, can I join you? I'm a really good sailor. Let's go. So, no one knows what was at the North Pole. They never went there. They, well, there's no, they know if there's ice, was the land covered with ice or in snow? Were the icebergs there? Or there's no place to drop down food or radio communications. And planes to drop make emergency rescues. Well, Henson and Perry were the first ones to take this challenge to go to the North Pole. And, but they fa failed. First there was a windstorm and the temperature was 50 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. Finally, they, sh they started with 42 men and 30 133 dogs. On April 6, 1909, they finally reached the North Pole with six men and 40 dogs. Ms. Perry asked Henson to put the American flag in the spot of the exact North Pole. This teaches me that if you're brave and strong, you can win anything that nobody has done before and be your country's biggest and best history.